till now I tell them I don't know I guess they understand How long their life has been Life began again The day you took my hand And yes, I know How lonely life can be The shadows follow me And the night won't set me free But I don't let the evening get me down Now that you're around me And you love me too Your thoughts are just for me You set my spirit free The book of life is free And once a page is read All but love is dead That is my belief And yes, I know Loveless life can be The shadows follow me And the night won't set me free But I don't let The evening bring me down Now that you're around Gentlemen, please welcome the wedding on the rock.
one look at you My whole life falls in line I prayed for you Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon, everyone. I think it's safe we do this in English, right? So as usual, life is all about changes. So syempre today, even though the special day of Lot and Algin, there's also changes and we just adjust to the changes. Actually, maganda... We think that the rain is not good, but you have to understand, rain is a cleansing. So itong araw na to, we just have to lift it up to God and thank Him. Dahil no matter what, rain or shine, tuloy pa rin. Amen? So bago po tayo magsimula, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day and for the presence of your Holy Spirit joining us in this lovely ceremony. We thank you for what this moment represents and for what shall transpire for Lot and Algin as they commit their lives to each other. We thank you, Lord Jesus. All honor and glory belong to you. And you shall be exalted And that every person here will not only witness your power and love at work in Lot and Algin's lives, but that each one present will, present will realize Jesus' love and commitment to the church. May the beauty of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us throughout this wedding ceremony. We humbly ask this in His mighty name and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. So yung kailangan pong maupo, you can all sit down. Yeah, you can sit down. Mga nanay, mga tita, mga beautiful people. And then um, for our ushers, you can bring a couple of chairs for our bride and groom. Chillax lang. So siyempre po, while they're doing that, brothers and sisters, we're gathered here today to share with Lot and Jen a very important moment in their lives. This past year that they've been together, it seemed like God had put them both on a fast track. Their love and understanding for each other has grown and matured, and now they've decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Kaya nagpapasalamat kami sa inyong lahat that you're able to join this lovely couple. So at this moment, sit back and relax, and then we will continue. Can we have the chair for the bride and groom, please?
Pretend Madonna. you're you're Madonna. riding on a motorcycle. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Watch for the thing. Hey, it's gonna be a memorable wedding. Okay, once we have the bride and groom situated, thank you for your patience. God will bless you for your patience. Okay. Ayos. Okay, now we can proceed. Hello, Olet. Good afternoon, Olet. A marriage has always been a joyous occasion. That's, what, that's why we're going to do this today. Remember, it's a, a joyous occasion, rain or shine. In Cana of Galilee, they were happy to have the presence and blessings of the Lord Jesus himself. Because God intended marriage to bring blessing and joy. So to let us invite his presence prior to entering this holy sacrament. Father God Almighty, again, we, we just ask for you to be here with us in this glorious day. Nagpapasalamat po kami, Panginoong Diyos, that you put us all here together. And more importantly, you put these two wonderful people together. Alam namin kayo po ang lahat ng gumawa ng lahat. So right now, while I read the scripture, from the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 to 24. Ito po yung nakasulat dito. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. So dito pa lang talagang pinatunayan na ng Panginoon that He will make a helper. And again, maririnig nyo yung story ng dalawa. They are like two peas in a pod. I'll continue. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall asleep into a deep sleep. Pero hindi ibig sabihin alas 11 ang gising. Inside joke namin yun. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of man and he brought her to the man. The man said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. She was, she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife and they become one flesh. And I can talk to you about that about further. Hindi lang yung tatawag mo sa kanya. Woman, come here. So let me share with you their story. Do you believe that God puts people together? Yes or no? Huh? Okay. Sino nagsabi ng no? Sana all? Well, he does. Imagine how God puts together people. Many have said God works in mysterious ways. But it's written, God's ways are higher. And this is very true. God's ways are higher. Are higher than our ways. Today is another proof of God's mysterious ways. Let me share now with you their story. So Lot and Algin, shh. Kayo naman. Mami Anna. Lot and Algin met online. Christian dating site. 
Now, before you start judging, don't judge. Alam niyo po yun. They met August 2021. Yesterday was their one-year anniversary. Oh, kita niyo? Wow, di ba? So I asked them, how did they start? Lot said he saw Algin's profile. Sabi ko, anong ginawa mo? He did the one thing that no man has ever done before. Sinabi lang niya, kamusta ka? So you single men, you guys better listen carefully. Yung iba sa inyo kasi, you're too dramatic. Alam niyo yun? So kumusta ka ang sinabi ni Lot. Right? Kala niyo tapos na? We. And of course, ang sinagot daw ni Algin, guess what, how she answered? Nang tinanong ko sa kanya, so what did you think na sinabi niyang kamusta ka? Sabi niya, it was unique. Wow, can you imagine? Unique daw. Alam niyo kung bakit? Dahil yun nga, yung iba daw, sobrang haba yung sentence. Alam niyo, yung malagkit, mas malagkit pa sa tiyampurado. Alam niyo, yung ibang malalaki kasi, pabebe, they say all these things, sugar coat, sugar coat, sugar coat. Pa sobrang tamis, kailangan magpunta sa dentista. Pero yun nga, the way, the way he approached it, sobrang diretso, sobrang simple. So somehow, yung ginawa ni Lot, it caught her attention. Pero alam naman natin, God was already moving. Amen? So naturally, my next question was, so how did you answer him? Sabi niya, I'm good. How are you? Oh, English era pala. Right? At sinabi niya nga, the way he said hello was, Hindi maarte, there was no frills, direct to the point yung sagot na rin niya. And as they continued to talk one another, they found out they were both from Ilongo. So, kita niyo yan? Accident ba yun? So, Lot took a look at her Facebook page and he found out that her, that her post was about food. Alam niyo yun? So, they siyempre, interest, food, food trip, Pinoy, food trip yan. Kayo, nagpunta kayo kanina o kahapon? Ilang beses kayo huminto? Huwag kayo magsinungaling. Yung iba sa inyo nagbaon na. Right? Food trip pa rin. So they continued to speak to one another and after a couple of weeks, diniretso na ni Algin. What are your intention? Wow! Ano? Diretso, no? So Lot answered with, well, let's get to know each other. And after one month, one month, they started doing online devotions. Okay, yung mga single guys. Ah, online devotion, baby. It works. Diba po? She lived in CDO. Cagayan de Oro, Mindanao, while he's in Manila. Siyempre, yung dalawa, they both had their share of hurtful relationship. We don't need to go into details. Dahil yung iba dito, Marites. Right? Pero don't worry, iba naman, good Samaritans din. Pero as God would have it nga, here they are. In one of their conversation, sinabi ni Lot kay Algin, I want to see you, but give me some time because I want to look my best. Alam mo yun? I want to lose weight. Dahil yung sinabi nga raw nila, nung nagkwekwentuhan sila, yung mukha lang ni Lot ang nakikita niya. Huh? Noon, yung noon lang. Can you imagine may kinakausap ka noo lang ang nakikita mo? Right? Pero regardless, uh, kay Algin, she, it didn't matter to her. Alam mo yun? May tumatawa sa likod ko, alam ko yun. Nararandaman ko yung ngiti niya. Pero yun nga, you, you would think na sasabihin niya, oo, ay nako, oo na ito. Oh, hindi po oo eh. Oo nga, oo. Alam niyo yun? Because when you think about it, it was the honest thing that Lot can say and do. Diba? And Algin found it very courageous that he allowed himself to be open and vulnerable. Kilig moment yun. Diba? At nangyari doon, that even made her fall for him even more. Praise God, diba? So siya, sa totoo, sinabi niya nga, she didn't mind it at all. In fact, ano alam nyo nangyari? Tinangay niya yung ate niya, sabi niya, punta tayong Manila, I want to meet this guy. Right? So then she went to Manila. Baliktad, hindi yung lalaki nagpunta sa kanya. Siya pa nagpunta. 
kay Lot to meet him. At sinabi niya sa amin, she considered it answered prayers to find the one. Ni ba po? And like I said, she didn't mind it at all. <clears throat> Their relationship became a testimony for his father also. That all things are possible to God. Dahil yung sinabi ni Lot sa akin na his dad was hinaintay niya yun. Alam niyo yun? And then in their courtship time, sinabi nila, they never heard anything negative from either side of their family. So dito pa lang nakikita natin, yung tunay na pagmamahal, yung tunay na pag-unawa, alam niyo yun, yung walang mak 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 mak. So it really truly seemed like God put them on a fast track. Right words was said, encouraging words was said. Are you all aware na silang dalawa, they both got to baptize each other. Diba? Ngayon, yung iba sa inyo, if you don't understand that, alam nyo, utos sa atin ng Panginoon that we are to be born again. Hindi po yun kulto, hindi po yun na inisip lang ng tao. Ngayon, if you really want to research and you have a Bible, read John chapter 3 verses 1 to 7. Tatlong beses inutos ng ating Panginoong Jesus na dapat ipanganak tayo muli kung gusto natin makita ang kaharian ng Diyos, meaning langit. At sinabi niya, kailangan ay what? You need to be born of water and in spirit. Born of water, ibig sabihin, you need to be baptized. Hindi po yun binyag. Dahil ang binyag is christening in English and you are not going to find that in any kind of Bible. Maski anong translation ang hanapin ninyo. Baptism is full immersion. It is not just a symbol. It is a command from the Lord. So yun nga. They're both born again. And they both got to baptize one another. How special can that be? Kung hindi nyo alam, that is very, 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 very special. Dahil yung iba kasi, kala nila, pastor lang o pari lang pwedeng gumawa niya. No. According to the Bible, a believer can baptize anyone. Amen? So when I asked them, is there anything negative? Since lahat positive. The only thing they can think of about anything negative was they both became each other's idol. Alam niyo yun? She became his idol, he became her idol. Ewan ko kung tinawag nila yung sarili nilang Lodi. But it's the same thing, right? I found that out later on. So siyempre, ang nangyari sa kanilang dalawa, since they both became an idol to each other, it became something very heavy for them. At alam na alam nila. As a result, they both discussed and both decided that no matter what, while they're courting, God will come first. And that's what they did. And then I asked them kung ano yung likes and dislikes. So eto, tinanong ko si Lot. So what did you not like about her? Sabi niya, I love everything about her. She knows me very well. Yun ang sabi niya. She's a godly woman most importantly. Galing, ano? Kala natin wala siyang mga hugot lines. Kaya tapos sinabi niya, I'm so super thankful to God na yun nga, pinadala siya. And then I asked him, tinanong din kita ano yung dislike mo? So ano yung dislike? Sabi niya, she feeds me healthy food. <laughs> Kung nagluluto daw siya, palaging ampalaya yung niluluto niya. Kaya tapos si Lot naman nakasimango dahil ampalaya. Si Algie naman, she feels bad. Ay, ayaw ni Lot kainin yung ampalaya. Pero ngayon, sanay na raw siya sa ampalaya. Once in a while, iluluto na raw siya ng manok. Pagka manok yung pagkain, pumapalakpak yung tenga ni Lot dahil he's got a big smile on his face. Dahil, wow! Salamat Lord! Chicken! <laughs> Hindi ampalaya. So syempre naman, I ask Algie, oh ikaw naman, what do you like about him? What do you dislike? Sabi naman niya, he loves God first. He is super caring and thoughtful. At sabi ni Aljen, I never get hungry. Ano yun? Siya daw yung nagpapakalmado sa kanya. He's very loving. She loves the fact na pwede niyang sabihin kay Lot anything. Alam niyo yun? And I mean anything. 
at siya din yung kanyang mentor. At ang sinabi niya, marami daw siyang pogi point. Eh talaga, eh pogi naman kasi si Lot, kaya talaga maraming pogi points. I mean, imposible na lang kung walang pogi points yan. So sabi ko, yung dislike, ano naman yung dislike mo sa kanya? Sabi niya, ako, I'm an active person, a morning person. Kung sino sa inyo nakakakilala kay Lot, alam niyo, hindi siya morning person. Diba? Siya nga umami sa akin. Eh bakit? Ano, anong oras ka ba gumigising? Alas 8, alas 9? Hindi po. Alas 11, alas 12. O talagang hindi nga siya morning person. Pero yun, I did tell them that at your age, you both need your beauty sleep. As sabi naman ni Lot, he's working on it. Kaninang umaga, si gising na gising na siya, diba? Dahil nag-post siya ng picture ng sunrise. Sabi ko, anong oras yan? Sabi niya, mga 5 or 6 a.m. Sabi ko, grabe, inisip ko agad. Nakagising nga ng maaga. Pero sa katotohanan, siguro hindi siya natulog. <laughs> right? Well, that's their story, guys. But this is an old advice that I always give the wedding couple that I always tell them. Na not long ago, a Christian couple who had been married for over 30 years, Matagal ko nang ginagamit to, over 12 years ko na. So ngayon, siguro over 40 years na sila. Nang tinanong sila, what advice would you give a couple on their wedding day? And their answer contained a lot of wisdom. At sabi nila, kung sundin nyo to, malalakpasan nyo yung 50th anniversary ninyo. The first advice was never go to bed angry. Right? Never go to bed angry. Sabi ko, ano yung pangalawang advice? Never go to bed angry. Technically, it's biblical, di ba? In the Bible, it says, don't let the sun go down on your anger. So, ibig sabihin, kung hindi kayo nagkasunduan today, huwag kayong magtampo-tampuhan. Alam nyo yun? Huwag kayong tatakbo sa iba. Alam mo yun? You gotta forgive them. Or forgive her. Who, regardless kung sinong tama at mali, you still gotta do that. And here's some Proverbs to live by. Proverbs 15.1 A gentle answer turns away wrath, but harsh words stirs up anger. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2 to 3 Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. That's another way of saying, I will put you first. And I will put you first. If each of you puts each other's first, just imagine the happiness and the joy that you both will experience. And finally, make sure as a couple, you always invite God to be the part of your lives, a part of your home. Siya palagi yung centro. And never forget Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will lead you to the right path to take. A lot of times, hindi nauunawaan ng tao ito. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, it is written that three things that will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So wag niyong kakalimutan itong important advice and apply it in your lives. Siyempre, there's not a wedding that goes by that they don't mention the love chapter of 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. So here's my charge to you both. As you sit here in the presence of God, to always remember that love and loyalty alone will serve as the foundation of a happy and enduring home. If the solemn vows which you are about to make are kept permanently, and if you steadfastly seek to do the will of your Heavenly Father, your life will be full of peace and joy. The home which you are establishing will abide through every change. So now I'm going to have you both stand up so you can exchange your vows. And so if I can have their chairs removed, we appreciate you.
You can face each other. Okay. Okay, mommy, I'm going to to you. You can hold her hand. Look at her eyes. Yun. As your hearts are joined together in love. Thank you. Naghawaw ka na kayo. Lot, do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love Algin, respect her, comfort her, and honor her all the days of your life. Ang sagot mo ay? Algin, do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love Lot, respect him, comfort him, and honor him in all the days of your life? And your answer is? I do. Do you lot take Algin to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to cherish with devoted love and faithfulness till death do your part? Ang sagot mo ay? Yes, I do. And do you, Algin, take lot to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to cherish with devoted love and faithfulness till death do your part? And your answer is? I do. Wow. Okay. May I have the rings, please? Our handsome best man. Thank you, sir. These rings are symbols of the covenant that the groom and bride are entering into and establishing this day. <coughs> These rings are never-ending circles indicating the continuing and eternal love of God which which you are to love one another. These rings are made of precious metal one that is not easily tarnished. This represents how valuable and precious your marriage covenant is in God's sight. Lord God, Father God, bless these rings that the one who gives it and the one who wears it may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So at the... At this point, may sabi mo, Algin? No. Don't worry, you'll get to do that. Algin, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, put the ring in her finger. Lot. Lot, I give you this ring. I give the I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. As a, as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Right now, the couple have chosen. They've written their own vows. So I will have Lot recite his vows. To his bride. Love, <clears throat> I love you. I pray to God to write my love 
I pray to God to write my love story and lead me to his choice. Your heart is so hidden in Jesus that I had to seek him more to find you. Now I praise him today as his will is being fulfilled. I don't regret a single moment of my life that led me to you. I thank the Lord for filling up my heart that was barely beating with hope and love that is beyond what I could ever wish for. I love you more than whatever challenges we may face ahead of us. Be it an argument or any misunderstanding, rest assured that I will even love you more than any obstacle that may come between us. I promise to be faithful to you and to love you through all of life's adventures as we follow him. Look at what God's love has done to me. My reality is finally better than my dreams. I love you with all that I am. My Algen. And now Algen will share her vow with the lot. Love, in the presence of God, our family, and friends, I vow with all my heart to love you as how Jesus taught and showed me how to love. Love, you came into my life in God's best and perfect timing. We are both amazed on how God worked in our love story. It's supernatural and beautiful. Last year, I only prayed for a husband who will pray with me and lead me closer to God. God answered my prayer, and he sent you. You got me at your first message, Kumusta? I thank God for his perfect gift. I have now a guapo, buutan, and most of all, a godly man husband. I promise to be for you the helpmate God intended from the beginning. I promise that wherever you may go, wherever God may lead, may lead you, with all my heart, I will be with you. I will cover you with prayer. I will work alongside you in support of God-given vision for our family. I will speak words of kindness, hope, joy, and love. And I will love and respect the ones you love. Through every year and every circumstance, I will remain constant in my commitment to you. Thank you for being my safe and happy place and my life's greatest adventure. I will spend the rest of my life thanking God for loving me enough to send me his very best. I will love you and be faithful to you from this day forward until God calls us home. Yes, you can uh, applaud. So whoever has the veil, may you come forward, please. Lot and Algin, at your baptism, you were clothed with a white garment symbolizing the new life of purity and joy. Purity and joy in our Lord Jesus Christ to which he has risen. He called you both. We clothe you now again with this precious garment as you enter the new phase of your life with God. Wear it unstained and let the joy of the Spirit shine forth to you whom the Lord's loving design will bring into your life. This veil covers this couple today, reminding them and all of us ng ating Panginoong Jesus, He covers us with His love. Their new home will be a place where God dwells because this couple chooses to be under the mantle of His love. Lord God, Father God, with this veil, which represents this couple's union and mutual surrender to each other, may you always protect Lot and Algin from any harm and strengthen them to provide continuous moral and spiritual support to each other. May they remain loyal helpmates to each other as they carry life's burden with joy. Through the passing of the years, 
Let the veil remind you both that you both belong to each other and to no one else. And that you love each other. Your love for each other becomes more beautiful in self-surrender that is total and pure. In Jesus' precious name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. So for the sponsors that has the cord, if you may come up and lay the sponsor, I mean lay the sponsor, lay the cord on Beaumont and Algin. This cord symbolizes the love of God, which brings your hearts and souls together. May your love grow stronger and bind you closer together through years from here to eternity. We ask this from the Father through Christ our Lord Jesus. May this cord remind you to face your life together courageously and to be mutual in support of each other in carrying out of your duties and responsibilities as a couple. The cord looped and crossed in the middle is wrapped around the bride and groom to symbolize, to symbolize the blessed trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who are one and the same. The cord symbolizes the same union and infinite nature of marriage. When you observe the cord, it's like a shape of an eight, which is also means infinity. Lord, with this cord, may the bond of love and friendship uniting Lot and Algin grow together over the years. May they remain united to you all their lives, knowing, loving, and serving each other and the community. Keep the bond of your love steadfast so that you can support one another throughout your lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. And may I have the Bible, please. I present to you this Bible, the holy written word of God. It is spirit, it is life. It's a light to your path. Let this be your guide in life. Surely you will be blessed and you will be a blessing to others. Make sure that you read, study, meditate on the word of God daily. And may you both teach, uh, teach each other about what the Lord has taught you. And I call to the parents, if you can please stand up. In the past, you have known Lot and Algin as individual persons. Now they are joined together in matrimony. Do you give them your blessings as they now commit their se themselves to each other? At ang sagot ninyo? And while respecting the priority of this new relationship, Will you nonetheless assure them of your continuing love, good wishes and prayers, and will you do all that you can to encourage and affirm both of them as they live their lives together? And your answer is, Amen. I congratulate you for your constant faithfulness and support for Lot and Algin up to this very, very hour, rain or shine. May that faithfulness remain as long as you live you may now take your seat. Salamat po. May I request for all the sponsors to please stand. This is different, right? I turn around and I talk to them and you're facing them. Very different. When you consented and acted as sponsors of this wedding, you became the second parents to Lot and Algin. Therefore, you have much responsibility to them. I now charge you to act as caring and loving secondary parents to Lot and Algin to assist them in their needs, both material and spiritual. 
and do all and do all you can to provide them with an example and counsel that they may need in their lives together. Do you promise to accomplish these duties duties to the best of your abilities? And your answer is, God bless you guys. Thank you. You may not be seated. So now if I can have the uh, sponsors to remove their cord and veil. One by one. And then for those that are going to bring the candles, can you bring them as well as the unity candle? Sabrina, get out of there, please. Thank you, honey. My daughter. See, sing there, me love you, hold each other. So now we're about to light the unity candles. The candles represent the light from God that you will need to guide you throughout the rest of your married life. The candles also express the silent promise that the couple will continue to provide light and warmth to each other's life. So right now, I'm going to have you both light the center candle. They have lit the center candle, which is larger than the other two candles because it is the new family that has been formed today. As you repeated your vows, and will be a blending of all the love. Traditions and experiences you have both shared with your individual families. It is also larger because the middle candle represents Christ. Who has brought you both together for this moment and to remind you that he is always with you always as your partner in your marriage to guard and to guide you in all that you do always remember to always keep jesus at the center of your marriage today as the unity candle is lit at the altar remember the light of christ that burns in all christian hearts and our responsibility to share that light with the world, especially in this celebration of holy mat matrimony. Where is Lot's sister? She doesn't know I'm going to do this, but now she knows. Nasan ka? Come out, girl. I'm going to have you read a blessing for their marriage. I could have told her last night, but... She told me, uh, surprise her, so 
Di ba sabi mo? Oh, ito lang, ito lang promise. Okay. Yan. Oh, hey. Blessing for a marriage by James Dillett Freeman. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring. And may, sorry. And may life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much, to fill your emptiness as to help you to know your fullness. A mountain needs a valley to complete. The valley does not make the mountain less, but more. And the valley is more a valley because it has a mountain towering over it. So let it be with you and you. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. But may you want one another, but not out of luck, lack. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you embrace one another, but not out encircle one another. May you succeed in all important ways with one another and not fail in the little graces. May you look for things to praise, often say I love you, and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels <laughs> that push you apart, may we, both of you hope to have good sense enough to take the first step back. Kuya! <laughs> May you enter into the mystery, which is the awareness of one another's presence. No more physical than spiritual. Warm and near when you are side by side, and warm and near when you are in separate rooms or even distant cities. May you have happiness, and may you find it making one another happy. Amen. Thank you. That was your last surprise, I promise. May the Lord our God always guide you in all your decision making. May you always be at the center of your lives. As you continue your journey together, I ask you to remember this advice. The key to love is humility. Remember to humble yourself regardless of who is at fault. The key to love is understanding, as it is the little things that say so much by themselves. The key to love is forgiving, to, to accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes. The key to love is sharing, sharing good fortunes as well as bad together. The key to love is giving, giving without expecting anything in return, but the hope of just a simple smile and by giving in but never giving up. Ito yung dinagdag ko. The key to love is loving the Ampalaya. Ito yung charge ko sa inyong dalawa. May your love with to one another never fade. May you never take each other for granted. And when you are old, may you be found hand in hand, like now, still thanking God for each other, still kissing one another, still laughing, teeth or no teeth, Never forget to treat each other with tenderness, kindness, and respect. And remind yourselves often of what drew you together in the first place. Kumusta? In our closing prayer, because of your vow between one another and in front of all these lovely people, God's lovely witness, let us all stand up and pray. <clears throat> Father God Almighty, we give you thanks for Lot and Algin. You have brought them together by your grace. Give them now the seal of your approval and grant them the power to fulfill with pure and holy love the vow and covenant they have made. Guide them in the way of righteousness and peace that loving and serving you with one heart and mind, they may learn also to love you as you would love, have them love. And help us. All of us, dear Lord, 
in each of our homes and lives to do your will. Enrich us more and more with your grace so that strengthening and supporting each other in the family of faith, we may serve you, those in need, and hasten the coming peace, love, justice on the earth through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And everyone says, Amen. Amen. Lot and Algin, you have consented together in holy matrimony before God. And you have pledged your vows to each other and have exchanged rings as token of your love and commitment to each other. In accordance with the laws of the Philippines and with the authority of God's word, and with great joy, I now pronounce you. Wait for it. Wait for it. Husband and wife. Palakpakan natin sila. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. So bago ko sabihin itong last line, we will all count to 20, okay? 20! Ready? You may now kiss your bride. Start counting. When the lips touch, that's what mabibilang kayo doon. Hindi pa nagsisimula. Pag nagsimula na sila, then you count. Para sa mga cameramen yan. Ready? No, 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 no. Wait. Okay, now kiss. You may kiss your bride. Now you count. Sige pa, oy! Sige pa! Hanggang 20. Ulit ulit. Ulit ulit. 1 to 20 ulit. Once the lips touch, that's when you begin to count. Ready? Go! Four, five, six, eleven, ten, nine, eight. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Lot and Anjan Gendrala. <laughs> I like his counting. <laughs> We'd like to request all the guests to kindly proceed to the reception area over here. Oh, you exit march, the music. And the entourage for the recessional uh, by the tree near the view.